Hi, I'm Sandy with this week's Digital Marketing Moment. Lately, a lot of business owners have been asking me on advice on getting their email marketing list started. So I'm going to share with you a couple of pointers to get things going. Now, the first thing you can do is if you have a website, add a newsletter subscription form to all of the pages on your website. Make it very easy to sign up and make the links very prominent. Now, if you're doing email with your clients and prospects, add a subscribe link to the footer of your emails as well as part of your email signature. Now, something else you can do if you have an e-commerce website is adding in a subscribe to newsletter link during the checkout process for your customers. Other great things that work well are incentivizing people to leave their email address by giving them a chance to download a white paper, a checklist, or a guide, something unique that you can provide them in exchange for their email address. Now, other things that work really well are exclusive offers for discounts and sneak peeks at future products and product news that are coming out of your business or your industry. Now, once you have collected this email marketing list, it's important to utilize it wisely. The, a good rule of thumb is for every four informative emails that you're sending out, you want to provide one sales related email. Now the reason to do this is you don't want to sound too salesy when you're sending out your email marketing list because then people will end up unsubscribing and your list will shrink. Um, if you need help getting your email marketing list, we're encouraging you to contact us. I'm Sandy with this week's Digital Marketing Moment. If you enjoyed this tip, please sign up to our YouTube channel as we'll be posting a new tip each and every Monday.